Thank you for doing your stuff. Uh, I haven't done a video in a while, but I'm back. Um, I have some exciting news. Uh, right now I have some news that's on and that I hope to use uh, in videos in the future. Um, first, or two things actually. Uh, I have a microphone, I don't really care for any of that. Uh, it is the ATR 2500 USB microphone, it's made by Audio Technica. And with it I have, what would be, AT8601 uh, desk stand. Uh, I'm going to use them together. Uh, I've never, I've never seen anyone use both of them at the same time. Uh, I, I was pretty sure they'd work. They're the same uh, size, but uh, they don't connect them uh, to the same uh, mic or clip, something like that. Uh, mount, they have mounts for mounts. Uh, they're the same size, so I thought they would work. I did. I was glad. Kinda gonna unbox them. I <laughs> already unboxed them the three times uh, they came together, but I wanted to kind of reveal this uh, for someone who might want to purchase either of these things. Uh, so we're gonna open it up and show you guys what's inside of the boxes a bit in depth. I'm gonna explain them, uh, show them to you, you know, to the first few viewers who just wa I watch a lot of these videos uh, before I purchase something or ask for something as a gift, and then. Uh, you know, I'm buying things too, and it's always kind of boring for me to do, and I'm like, I want to see the whole thing, so I'm going to try and show you guys both blenders, uh, so yeah, here we go. So here we have the box, and you can see the microphone right through the front, uh, on the side you can see a little bit of the mic, on the back it's just, you know, technical specifications, and all that kind of stuff, it's also shows you what's included, which is the microphone, the USB cord, uh, microphone desk tripod, which I'm personally not going to use, uh, and then this uh, little stand connector. Uh, so yeah, let's open it up. And this microphone, by the way, I purchased it uh, at a local pet store. Uh, you can buy online, you can get it on Amazon. And it's actually not as expensive as a lot of the other uh, USB mics. It was only about $60 when I bought it. Uh, it's usually going to be somewhere around 60 or 90 at most. Uh, yeah, and then it comes with a manual with all kinds of stuff you can use this on. I'm not going to like put that whole thing on there. And then you have the contents that you're really interested in. Let's go ahead and take a look. Pull this off. Now, the one thing that bothers me about this mic is that you know, it comes with the cord, and I really can't lose this because you know, I have, I've used other USB mics before, and they usually have a mini USB uh, on the microphone that will connect, you know, the other USB end to your computer. The thing is, this isn't a mini USB, it's a different plug, and so, I don't know, I might be able to figure out what the main USB is. It says USB, so maybe it's another kind of USB I've never heard of, but, uh, yeah, so I've had, I have another really long cord that I can use with uh, the Yeti that I have can't use it with this one. And this one seems long enough. It's about five feet, I'd say, stretching it all out. So it, it's a nice length of a cord, but yeah, just make sure uh, not to lose it unless you have extras. Here's the tripod, which many people have said is really flimsy, and it is. It's plastic. I thought it was going to be metal. It's This is plastic. This is, wow. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it works. But, uh, yeah, if you want to use it, I'm sure it's not awful, but it's definitely not going to be very secure to use it. This mic is actually pretty heavy. Here we have the stand connector, which uh, you uh, put at this end. Oh, I moved the microphone. Sorry, I'm <laughs> this is hard to orient because I'm looking up and it's backwards. But uh, then you screw this at the bottom and it goes up the microphone. It's super connected, and then you can pull this down and do a pivot where you want the microphone to be, and I'll show that a little bit later. Now, here is what we've all been waiting for, the microphone itself. Uh, and here's the 360 view of the mic. It's all round, and uh, it kind of reminded me of David Letterman's microphone, uh, which was made by a different company, I believe it's Newman. But, uh, yeah, it, it has a nice uh, appearance to it. It's kind of like an in-studio microphone you'd see. Uh, back in like the 40s, uh, 30s, 40s. Uh, cord at the bottom that allows, like, again, even to 
it's not familiar to me. Maybe someone else is very familiar with it, and I just don't know what it's called. But uh, so here's the top of shells, and it's very nice and round. Uh, it's a lot heavier than you'd think. Yeah, it's. I thought. Okay. Also, another thing is it's made of metal. When I first saw this online, I thought it was plastic, and I thought, oh, it's just a cheap microphone. It's not going to be that great. But it's made of metal, and it's heavy, and it's sturdy, and it does. it's not that cheap looking. The only thing that's remotely cheap looking is this front panel right here, which is uh, very convenient. It's got volume control, so that you can plug your headphones in right here. Or in my case, when I'm going to use this in the future, I'll have a, um, an AUX cord to be able to plug things on camera. Um, you can control the volume right here on the microphone, and there's a light right here that tells you when the microphone's on, which means uh, when to plug into your computer. Now, the only issue I'm going to have with that is that the light is extremely bright, <laughs> like very, very bright. I tried it out about a week ago, and uh, it was this very bright blue light that basically lit half of my room. So I'm probably going to cover it with duct tape or something, but uh, you know, at least it works. I'm glad it works instead of it not working. But, you know, maybe it just works a little too well. Uh, but again, it, it's a very sturdy microphone. I would def... I, I just love touching it. I don't know why. It's just a nice, sturdy mic. So now we have the depth scanner, the AP8601. So let's open that up. And I got this on Amazon. Uh... And I kept checking the prices, you know, trying to figure out when to buy it. And it, a lot of the times it was like $26. One day I saw this for $17, zero shipping and handling. I bought it immediately. So I would check the prices just to be sure. But uh, on Amazon, I would, I would say that's the best place to go. Now, I had heard of this depth scanner because uh, I'd seen NBC had used it for a few of their talk shows. Uh, Conan O'Brien used it for about 17 years. Uh, Jimmy Fallon has used it for the last five years or so. And uh, I believe Seth, Me Seth Meyers now uses it too. Uh, you know, I thought, okay, it's a pretty nice mic stand. It probably is a little loose, but I didn't know the materials really. I just thought, you know what, it's nice depth scan. Uh, it'll look okay to me. And if it doesn't work out, then I'll send it back. It wasn't that expensive. And I like the way it feels. It's a nice stand. Uh, it seems to be some sort of rubber silicone material. And the bottom right here you can see, uh, it's not completely filled in. Like, you know, there's space. And I thought that might be a problem, but no, it actually it might make it more stable for some reason. Uh, you know, I set the mic on here, which again is heavier than I thought it would be. And it was very stable. It didn't fall over anything. It didn't rock at all. Uh, it has this uh, right here at the bottom, so you can screw the top panel out uh, to expose more or less of the uh, stand mount. Or I, I, don't, I think that's what it's called, like the stand mount that you screw to the bottom of this right here, the casual stand. So, yeah, it's got the outlet uh, logo right there, and you just place it on the desk, and yeah, let's, let's go ahead and connect it. So we're going to take the mic right here, and we're going to connect it. Now, an important thing to remember is you want to make sure that this end right here, the flat part, is touching the microphone, and the, this part that you can spin around is on the outside. So we'll place it on top, and you can see it just kind of spins around. You just screw it on, make sure it's screwing on straight. And as you're screwing, you want to make sure that the this panel is upright and this is on the bottom. Make sure everything is aligned properly. So it looks right to me. So let's keep going. So now it seems to be locked in place. It's not going to move that much. Now, uh, if you want to tighten this, it's got a uh, screw. Uh, yeah, a screw right there. You can call it like a screwdriver and tighten it if you want. It seems to be working well for me. So. Uh, going to keep it the way it is. Now, let's place it on this just stand and spin it around. Uh, yeah. That's about it right there.
now I've got my computer that I'm doing, and uh, I'm going to plug it in to be a little different from when you plug the microphone into the computer. So let's replace the uh, plug right here at the bottom of this panel. see that bright blue light just means it is plugged in. Uh, again, it's very distracting. I'll try to cover it with duct tape. Um, so now, we'll plug this in with this splitter. I have a headphones right here, and I have the AUX cord to plug into the camera right here. So I'll plug this right into the mic. And that's easy to move. I've got everything thrown out. Now, let me plug it into the camera. And it should be working. All right. So yeah, I guess that's it for now. Uh, I'll probably be using this in the future. Um, I, I, I thought about this for a while. Uh, first of all, because it, it would look better to use this uh, to me personally. And also because when at the end when I put my hand over the camera, there's always that noise. And it's always bothered me for a really long time where I've been trying to think of a way that I could do that without making a noise of hitting the camera and this seems to be the best alternative because uh, I can hit the camera all I want and you guys aren't going to hear anything you're probably going to be mad at me for smacking you guys in the face but it's not going to uh, affect the sound um, so yeah that's it for now thank you guys for watching uh, and I will see you guys next time uh, so bye it worked